Last October 9th, this was the largest natural phenomenon that satellites looking at Earth probably saw, Hurricane Julia making landfall in Central America. But on that very day, the world was suddenly bombarded from outer space. We just didn't notice. Yet other satellites, like Integral from the European Space Agency and observatories around the world, instantly registered a burst of gamma rays, high-energy radiation that passes through us every day, but usually in small amounts. This was unlike anything humans have experienced before, even if we didn't feel it. It comes from an extremely massive star. We have previously seen about 10,000 gamma ray bursts since they were first discovered in the late 1960s. This one is by far the brightest, it is likely going to be the brightest in all of human civilization up to this date. When a star dies and collapses, it pulls everything into a black hole. And from that black hole, a burst of particles is shot out at the speed of light. And from the gas and surrounding material, what streams into space are gamma rays, plus X-rays, and the visible light that we see, even radio waves. But this burst, remarkably, came right at the Earth, right at us, after traveling 1.9 billion light years. Even that dose of gamma rays did not pose a risk to human health. They passed by and through us in mere seconds. But now scientists are tracing them back to where they came from. This once in 10,000 year event was so bright, the so-called afterglow will be visible for decades to learn how that star was formed, how it died, and what it can tell us about ourselves and our planet. All of the heavy elements that make up our Earth and our bodies were formed in stars and in the deaths of stars. And so if you want to know, how we came to be and where we come from. We have to understand how these elements are fused. There are mysteries about this gamma ray burst. A supernova would normally have been seen a few weeks later, but the angle of our own Milky Way galaxy may have obscured it. Still, scientists now have lots of data and lots of time because they likely won't see a gamma ray exhibition like this for another 10,000 years. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.